Hey guys, this is Richard from Pacific Reviews, and um, we know it's been a really long time since we've had a video, but um, now that the iPhone 5 is out, I'm upgrading from my 4, so um, yeah. I'm sorry it's a week late. We, uh, we ordered them the next morning, not like at midnight, so we got them a week late. And uh, this black one here is mine, and this white one's my mom, my mom's. And we switched back to Verizon finally because um, AT and T just was not serving us well. Um, they've already been unpackaged, unfortunately, because we had to activate them. But nothing else has been taken out. They've just been set up. So here we go. I'll do the white one first. So it's pretty simple. The top comes off, and there it is. Um, this phone really is really light. I don't know if you've been watching other videos, but it almost feels hollow, but it still feels like one good solid piece. So it's kind of hard to explain, really, but that aside. Pull tab, the plastic tray, all the stuff in here. Maybe we'll get a SIM tool this year. Nope. So there's just all the stuff in here about how to work your phone and all that kind of jazz. Um, it's okay. Put that aside. And here you get your typical stuff. Your uh, The new ear pods, which um, I actually have used these. And I honestly think that they're really good. Much better than Apple's old headphones. And uh, there's definitely better headphones out there, but these are a huge improvement over their old headphones. Wall charger looks the same, and the new lightning connector. Um, I won't undo this one because it's my mom's, so I'll undo mine and show you next to a 30 pin. But it is very small, as you can see in there. So I'll put that back. This was just a quick one to show you the white phone. I'll leave the white phone out so you can see next to the black one. I prefer the black one. I really like the dark rim on the new black one, which is here. This is the black one. The box, I didn't show the other one, it's pretty simple. iPhone, iPhone 5, Apple, Apple, all that jargon. Um, it's a 32 gigabyte black, and there it is. Yep, the dark size, which I like. Um, definitely, it's thinner, but not by very much. Here's my 4, as you can see. So it definitely is thinner, but it's not a huge difference. Nothing completely, utterly, I don't know. Probably the biggest difference I noticed, besides the size difference and the color, is the weight. The weight is such a big difference. Um, the bottom, which now has the head, headphone jack, lighting port, the side, which um, the Verizon iPhone 5s and 4s uh, have SIM card trays, even though they don't use SIM cards, making them an international phone. Uh, the back, which is this new texture, I'm going to undo it now. Okay, so it's like it's a metal and this is still glass the side the top it's already been activated as you can see um, I actually have 4G right here which is really nice because it's in my house and um, I'm really glad to be switching because the home button on my 4 is kind of sporadic sometimes it doesn't always work the best and um, so yeah here's the white and the black next to each other you can see uh, the FaceTime camera has now moved from not being in the center to the center up top and um, here, let me take out the lightning cable and compare it to a 30 pin. Here we go. So here's the lightning and here's the 30 pin. So you can see a huge difference. And one thing that they noted, uh, noted is that this can go in this way or this way, either way, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but it really is nice because in the past, this could only go in one way, the side with the writing on it. So that's always nice. And um, so it's just a really quick, brief unboxing. And um, we'll put up more videos soon of Wi-Fi speeds between the 5 and the 4, as well as Wi-Fi and 3G speeds between the 5 and Marshall's 4S, because they're both on Verizon now. So this has been Richard. Thanks for watching.